talking now with Renee Fallitz. Renee, I understand that you taught uh, NIM sign language, is that right, back in the 70s? 1976, 1977, for 11 months. Uh, I was in charge of teaching him sign language and I was his nutritionist. I lived at the house with him, with some of the other instructors. And so when you say you lived at the house with him, this was part of the project to try to raise him as though he were a human? Was that at that time or was um, that before that? I never thought of him as human. I didn't anthropomorphize him, but he lived in the house. He had half the house and we lived in the other half. We had it separated by locked doors. Uh, and we would go into the chimp side when we were responsible for taking care of him. We worked with him one on one. And the reason, for, the reason for having him in the house then was what was the what was the purpose of that? That's where he lived. That was his home, uh, and that's what makes uh, his life so tragic. This was a huge mansion with on about 17 to 20 acres. I can't remember the exact number. It was a multi-million dollar estate in Riverdale, New York. He had uh, a gym, a kitchen, a classroom. Uh, we lived in the house with him in beautiful bedrooms with no furniture. But uh, And then when the project closed, he was put in a cage.